Side parts, guys. We are talking about side parts, how to work with side parts, how to cut around them. You know what? It's gonna be amazing. Stick around, guys. It's coming right up. So, when it comes to side parts, why is it that everybody kind of freaks out? They're like, hairdressers are like, I don't really know how to cut around that. Consumers are like, I have a side part, make sure you cut around that. There are so many things that just make people kind of cringe up, you know, almost like that little, my butt tightens, ugh, ugh, I don't know. I don't even know why I said that, but you know what, I felt like it, it kind of went with what we're doing today. So, side parts. The thing that you have to keep in mind, guys, is that side parts, all you're really essentially doing is you're just kind of shifting that part line, whether it's gonna be on the left, the right, whatever it is, but it's not in the center. So when we're cutting around that, especially when we're cutting fringe, if we're doing some sort of curtain, disclaimer here, curtain is designed to be worn in the center. And if you have naturally wavy or curly hair, you have to blow it out a little bit smoother to get that curtain effect. If you don't, and you just wear it like that, you're gonna get more of kind of a, a, a rocker shag look to that. So that's just disclaimer. But in today's video, we're gonna be blowing everything out a little bit smoother. So you can see how we have a side part, and this part really is about over about the, you know, a little bit on the inside of the center portion of her eye, you know, right here. Don't touch me in the eye. Anyways, I don't even know why I just did that. That's weird. So let's get started. If you have a deeper part, if you're more emo, hey, you know, rock it. Like you're gonna have to do a lot more adjustments. Let's go with what we're gonna be doing today. If you have a deeper part, we can make that another video. All right, so let's start the cutting guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys, this is essentially gonna be the front portion here where the fringe sits. Now you can see how this line right through here, this line, if we were to follow this straight up, that's where that part was sitting before. And so you're gonna see how this is heavier over here than this side. So we're gonna be having a little bit of a heavier fringe over here on that side. Now, so we are gonna be cutting the line that's gonna be working from that side part. So just keep that in mind as I start to cut. Let's start cutting, guys. So with the rest of the haircut, what we're gonna be doing is we're still gonna be working in this kind of side part area. So we're gonna be making the layers a little bit heavier on one side, knowing that we're gonna be kind of like focusing on that specific angle. It's gonna be like shag meets a little bit of a wolf, but it's actually gonna happen a little bit more kind of like that 70s Farrah Fawcett working on that side part. It's gonna be super cool. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, so after you guys finish doing that side part fringe right through there, and again, you can keep things longer depending on just take that same technique and just cut that line down further if you want it further. But today I wanna actually make it a little bit shorter. The rest of the haircut, we're gonna be doing a wolf haircut with that side part. So it's actually gonna be super kind of fun. So if you guys have not seen my other wolf cut video, go ahead and check that out. Boop, psh, right over there, okay? but. Let's get the cutting, let's do it now. All right guys, so after you cut the left side, and I'm gonna show you how everything was done, you really wanna take, and you want to mirror that hairline. Now, where that wolf cut comes in play is you can see where your line is for that fringe 
but that wolf cut has disconnection and it's right around that cheekbone area. So we're gonna have a lot of focus right here in this area. So you're not gonna have these two points blend between here. Now, everything is brought from the back of the ear and it's brought right up through here and it's cut right at that point. Now you're gonna see, as I brush this down, you're gonna see the disconnection between the back area, but that focus right here in this area is where that wolf comes in. And you're really gonna to start to see that as we start to dry that area. So let's go ahead and cut the right side All right guys, so after you're done cutting the right side, um, you'll notice that when you actually start to look at this, you can actually start to see kind of like a lot of like little activity coming out in this general area right through here. And of course we still have that length. I really, really love the length. I wanna keep that, but you're gonna really kind of start to see a lot of that focus in this specific area right through there. And then you're gonna see how we've got, again, we've got our angled fringe working on that side part. Let's go ahead and dry this, and then we're gonna finish cutting it, cool? All right guys, so when it comes down to styling, two things are super important. Number one, you're gonna need some sort of dual bristle brush. Spoiler alert, actually I'm designing a brush right now. I'm so excited about it. I can't show it to you yet, but it is like pretty cool. Actually, it's not pretty cool, it's amazing. I've been working on it since 2016. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. We'll release it soon, hopefully by the end of the year, but you're gonna need a dual bristle brush, okay? And you'll notice as I started to dry this, you want to dry everything down. So you wanna use the heat of the blow dryer pushing down to make sure you're getting that fringe to lay down really, really nice. Then what I did is that I started to use a round brush and I kind of like pushed everything out to the side because I really just want to show off how cool a shag, you could say wolf, whatever it is, to kind of bring a lot of attention through here. I really liked how some of this length is sitting down through here. I like that disconnection. That again really shows off how cool that wolf haircut can be. I'm not gonna do anything to remove any sort of weight. I like how kind of full that fringe is. And you can see, again, that's working on that side part, cutting a really cool fringe in that area because then it just car like carves around right through here and then carves around. So it, it shows a little asymmetry, which is awesome. And if you had, you know, it's where you were like, you know what, I kind of want to part the hair, you know, you could do that as well and then you could actually kind of have a little bit of a part happening right through that little area. I mean, I'd have to put a little product in there right through there, but I really like how you can start to see a little bit of that, that skin coming through right in, right underneath through there. Let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm gonna add a little bit of texture in here to really just kind of show this off. Guys, my name is Jake Thompson Hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haircut today. I want to apologize this last week. I didn't post. I'm sorry about that. My little baby boy came four weeks early. We weren't really expecting that. But again, I want to apologize for not posting last week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I also want to let you guys know I made a free little gift about face shapes. I always link that in my videos below. Check that out. It's a free download. Whether you're a professional or a non-professional, go ahead and check that out. That's for free. That's a gift from me to you. Like it? I will see you guys in the next video.